Hi, I'm Jason Brill. I'd like to take two minutes of your time to talk to you about a study recently performed at the Red Duke Trauma Institute at Memorial Hermann Hospital in association with the University of Texas Health Science Center at Houston, one of the busiest trauma centers in the United States. The study compared the use of Group O whole blood for the resuscitation of injured patients, as opposed to standard component therapy, meaning red blood cells, plasma, and platelets reconstituted to resuscitate a trauma patient. The study was a prospective observational study, so no one dictated which patients would receive what products. Clinical judgment decided the individual resuscitation of any one trauma patient. We examined all patients from 2017 onward. 1,377 patients ended up receiving uncross-matched emergency blood products, 840 getting some amount of whole blood. The average patient received one to two units of whole blood, often followed by component products as well. They were compared to 537 patients who received no whole blood and only received component products. Here's what we found. The patients who eventually did receive whole blood were more severely injured in general, and they arrived to us in worse shape, with lower blood pressures and higher lactate levels. Despite this, they showed similar survival to 30 days compared to the component-only patients. Because these baseline characteristics differed between the groups, we then performed a propensity score analysis. In this analysis, whole blood transfusion remained associated with increased survival, decreased requirements for transfusion volumes, and fewer days in the hospital. The concept of transfusing whole blood to injured patients is not new. But after the 1970s, as fractionation into component blood products became the standard practice, they became the generally available products. We think our study argues for a return to earlier transfusion practices, in which whole blood was transfused into trauma patients who are, after all, bleeding out whole blood. I'd like to thank you for your attention, and I hope that you read our article in its entirety. My co-authors and I look forward to your comments. Thank you.